Hello and welcome to The Stitchery. This is part two of the February tutorials. I'm going to show you how to do the woven rose stitch to do the ranunculus in this month's heart. So the ranunculus are stitched on the star shapes that you can see across the top of the heart and what you need to do is a straight stitch that covers each of those spokes of the star. So there are five straight stitches that so come out at the end and go into the middle. So just do that all the way around. When you've done that, you need to come up right near the centre to one side of one of the spokes and you're going to weave over and under those spokes. So you can see I've gone over the first one and under the second. I'm going over this third one and under the fourth. Then I'll go over the fifth and under the next one. You see I'm missing just, we're not going through the fabric at all now, we're just weaving our needle over and under those spokes. Just carry on in that way across the star. So just weaving over and under, over and under. And because there are five spokes, you'll find that your over and under weaving are alternated which gives you that petal effect of the ranunculus. Just keep going all the way round. When you get to the edge we need to make sure we're covering those spokes so when you get to the edge you'll see it's more and more difficult to see the stitches that you put in to weave under. So keep going, you'll just need to turn your fabric slightly to the side so that you can see the stitches underneath. But the more you cover it the better. And then when you get to the end you'll see that I just Put the needle through to the back of the work and secure underneath. There we go. Next I'm going to show you a whipped running stitch. So running stitch is one of the most basic stitches. You basically do your first stitch, leave a gap and do a second stitch and keep going. Now the gaps in between each stitch should really be the same width as the stitch but I just try to keep the gaps even, evenly sized. So this is what you do across the bottom of your heart. When you've finished running stitch, just come to where you began at the beginning, put your needle through the bottom, doesn't matter how close it is, and then weave again just between the stitch and the fabric. So bring your needle up and under, Oop. bring your needle up and under and then go through to the next one. And just weave it, just make sure you're always coming in from the same side. So I'm coming in from the right with my needle every time. And that just gives it a raised sort of rope look and you're doing that in a different colour so it gives a nice effect. I thought we'd do a bullion knot refresher here um, just to try and slow it down. So you come up at point A there, down at point B, so it's just a stitch but you don't pull through moving my thread out of the way there. Don't put it all the way through and then I'm just straightening out the thread with my left hand. I'm going to bring my needle up 
at point A again, just right alongside it. And then wrap my thread around the needle. You can do this as many times as you like, depending on how long you've done the stitch. I'm wrapping it quite a lot because I've done a long stitch here. Just do what it says in the instructions. I'm pushing it down the needle. When you've wrapped enough, however many times it says, you just push the stitches down the bottom of the needle, push the needle from the back of the fabric, grab it at the top. You can see I'm still holding those wrapped stitches, holding it there, and then I'm just going to just straighten them out slightly so it's nice and straight just on those wraps. See they're all nice and neatly coiled. And then I'm going back down at point B to the back of the work, just pull nice and tightly. And that's the stitch finished. I thought we'd do a couple of quick French knots while we're here as another refresher. So you just come up at the back of the fabric. We're doing these in between the ranunculus flowers if you remember. So just come up at the back of the fabric, hold the thread tight in the opposite hand to the needle, wrap it twice or three times here <laughs> around the needle and put it back down, holding it tight all the time with your left hand, put your needle back down along where you first came up, pull through at the back, keep holding the thread so it pulls through neatly and just don't pull too tight. So that's us done for February. You should have enough there to finish the piece, but do remember I'm on Instagram or email if you need to ask any questions. Thank you for watching.